Happy Spiritual Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm Deb. And I'm Mike. And this is our... Ooh, there's a loud bird right there. That's a <laughs> he wants coot. to be He wants to be heard. The coot has a hoot. This is our uh, challenge. Our uh, craving consistency challenge. Mm. And um, this is day six. At wow. Day six. Hi, Lenora. One more day left. One more day left. Thank you for joining us here at this beautiful bench on this beautiful park mm. in this beautiful sunny Sunday morning. Oh, it feels so good out here in nature. Hi, Aubrey. And yeah, guess what? It's a perfect time to talk about spirituality. Oh, yeah. Sundays doesn't have to be uh, limited to our spirituality. No. But when we think of Sunday, we do think of being spiritual. At least I do. I equate that day, you know, the day the Lord has made, the day of rest. Mm. And, um, just being with God or being with uh, yourself and both of God and yourself and being spiritual and how consistent are we about that and around that. Um, being spiritual is really in essence just part of us, you know, yeah. part of our uh, self-love, part of our being consistent, part of us uh, uh, living a lovely life. Yeah. So we have uh, some talking points today. Mike's going to talk. Yeah, definitely. And I'm going to hold the phone. Yeah, I think it's definitely important to have a, a relationship instead of a religion. And throughout my life, I've been consistent with my relationship with God mm -hmm. and very inconsistent. Mm -hmm. My personality type is all or nothing. No. And um, it's a blessing and a curse. I mean, yeah. God you know, made you that way. Right? God made me that way. But the good news is um, God and I are really getting acquainted again uh, the way that we should. So we're going to go over some of the ways that we can stay more consistent in building a relationship with God. Now, whatever God is to you, right? Mm -hmm. um, Hi, Tobias. So uh, we're going to go over some of the things that uh, are going to help you. So strengthen your connection with God. Daily devotionals set a time each day for prayer, meditation, or reflection to nurture your relationship with God. Mm. So that's really important, right? So set, important. It, set that apart. Uh, Deb and I read devotionals every morning. And uh, recently, I, you know, I, just, I started my prayer again and uh, having a little bit of silent time with God in the morning. I that's... never understood really what that meant. But uh, a prayer is talking to God and um, meditation is meditation listening. is listening. Yeah. Right. I shared that with you. Right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's so true because uh, even the pastors talk about at churches, you know, oh, if you just pray, God me give this, God give me this, God give me that, mm -hmm. you know, those uh, down on your knees prayers. Uh, but if you don't actually listen, uh, then you don't have that relationship with God because it's not always your will. It actually is what God's will. And if you're open to what God's will for you and letting go of your expectations of your wants, uh, he always provides. Right. You can't have a convert. You can't have a relationship with a one way conversation. No, right? definitely not. And uh, I get reminded of that, that I need to listen more than I speak. That's why we have two ears and one mouth. Right? Yeah. Because <laughs> we're supposed to listen. Totally. Twice as much as we talk. Do you listen? Do you like listening? Yeah, I do. But sometimes I, I'm challenged to respond sometimes instead of listen mm. in, in relationship, you know? Yeah. But uh, that's why it's important to, to, to have that meditation and quiet time. Mm -hmm. I never really understood what all that meant until recently. So mm -hmm. it's important it to sure set, is. set that devotion, that time apart on a daily basis. Okay, so it's tip number two. Scripture, study, delve into the sacred text to gain wisdom. Deepen your understanding of your faith. Wow, that's mm -hmm. so important. You know, you think about it for a second. All of the personal development, self-help, all of that stuff, mm -hmm. visualization, you think about Think and Grow Rich, manifestation, mm -hmm. all of that stuff, it all comes from the Bible. Yeah. Right? All of the wisdom that men have shared throughout the years and throughout the millennium mm -hmm. have actually come from the scriptures. Yeah, and you know, the, the men that wrote the Bible, yeah, they, you know, as our pastor would tell us, they weren't in the perfect situations, mm -hmm. but they had faith. And uh, that's what it basically tells you, no matter right. what your situation is. If God used faith. perfect people, 
then nothing would ever get done because mm -hmm. God uses imperfect people. And that's what's amazing about the scripture is there's stories and there's examples mm -hmm. of people who weren't perfect, mm -hmm. who trusted God, who relied on God to get through things and do amazing things. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So tip number three, community involvement regularly practice and religious services are engaged with the spiritual community to strengthen your sense of belonging. Mm. So every Saturday we go to church and it, I got to tell you, you know, when they do the worship, they have this live band and it's kind of like going to a concert. I ain't mm -hmm. going to lie. It's like really cool. But I will say this, there's something about the energy in the room uh, about two or three songs into it. I'm singing. And then you guess what? I'm starting to really feel the presence of God. And I can just, my heart just gets warm. And sometimes I get emotional. Sometimes I'll just start tearing up mm. because I can feel the collective energy of being around people that are worshiping. Yeah, that's why it's so important to be around people like that, whether it's at church, whether it's in a prayer group, whether it's just a spiritually led group, uh, things like uh, energy healing, Reiki, sound healing, church, uh, any kind of positive uh, affirmations is what you need to be have more of because you know the world can be a, a negative place. It can be hard, but when you're around loving energy like that, you lift people up and they lift you up. If you think about the word community, it comes from the word communion, yeah. right? And the word communion comes from commuting with um, and fellowshipping with other people. Mm -hmm. And that's why the, think about community is communing is all coming together. Yeah. All right. So tip Such number a beautiful four thing. is uh, acts. I'm sorry, I'm changing. That's okay. You know, I'm sure your arm's getting tired. Tip number four, acts of kindness, serve others through acts of kindness and volunteer work reflecting the compassion and love at the core of your faith. Wow, look at that red bird. Wow, that is. Wow. That looks like a. He's pet. beautiful. Yeah, we just saw a really cool bird fly by. Wow. Um, yeah, so volunteer. It's really important to volunteer. We need to get more involved in our community and volunteer more. That's mm -hmm. something that, you know, if you. They, they talk about tithing at the church. Mm hmm. They talk about giving a 10% of your income. Well, what if you can't give? They always say you can give back without having to have money. You can give your time, you can mm -hmm. give your energy, you can give your effort, you can serve. Yeah, um, like you said yesterday when we were talking about energy, energy and time, it's the, it's the equivalent, right? Right, exactly. And, mm -hmm. and serving others is, is definitely is definitely something that's amazing. There was a couple of times, I mean, with my kids, I remember feeding the homeless. We did that, we did that a few times and you know, mm -hmm. it's great. It makes you really appreciate. And the next point of gratitude, yeah. Being grateful for what you have because not everybody has, you know, I, I made this post the other day that said, God blesses us all in different ways, but loves us all the same. Yeah, because, you know, kindness should just come off naturally. Uh, it could be as much as, you know, opening the door for someone, doing things up, for Steven? people without uh, having expectations of anything back. All right. So this is the tip number five on how to stay consistent in your relationship with God mm -hmm. or your spirituality. Gratitude and forgiveness. Cultivate a heart of gratitude and practice forgiveness, clearing the way for deeper connection with God's love and grace. Oh, hey, gratitude. folks, really, that's what this is all about. It's about mm -hmm. forgiveness. You know, we have the ultimate gift mm -hmm. of being able to have an eternal relationship with God because of forgiveness. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So be grateful for that and have gratitude. Have gratitude for every single moment. You know, a lot of people think that love is the most powerful emotion in the world. That's not it. You know what the most powerful emotion in the world is? Gratitude. Yeah. And if you're, if you're having uh, irritability or anger issues, uh, before you speak, be grateful. Yeah. Stop. Take a moment and be grateful before you start talking. It really does change a lot of things and experiences in your life. Don't just point a finger because you ever see, if you point a finger at somebody else, there's three fingers yeah. pointing back at you. You, you mentioned, uh, you know, being stuck or there's a geese. being miserable about your problems. Yeah. Be grateful for your problems because those are um, opportunities to grow and be closer to God. And not only that, but do you realize that there's people out there that are praying to have the kind of problems that you might be having? Yeah, God so, gives us things to learn our lessons on earth. Right. You know, we were talking about this other, the other day, 
if you want patience don't you pay pray to god for patience he'll give you more things to be patient about yeah that's true um yeah we we don't want to learn our lessons over and over again, but sometimes we do right you know i have had that happen in my life experiences as well All right. but when we're grateful and have a loving kind sweet heart uh, the world is just a better place no matter what's going on outside so it's true. what's going inside of so, your heart so true that matters yeah so true so in closing before we go over the homework just remember that your journey is a personal one but these points can guide you to stay consistent and get closer to God so yeah uh, for the homework like hey seriously what do you do to have a healthy spiritual relationship with your Creator what are your daily practices that you put into play on a daily basis to grow closer to God, your creator, mm. whatever that is for you? Yeah, let us know because we always are open to learning new things from our friends because we love you guys. And Most you definitely. have brought so much positive energy to this group. I mean, yeah. Just this group alone, even though we don't see each other in person, uh, your lives mean a lot to us and your contribution to the group means everything to us so uh, i love it when you guys participate and um the challenges that we give you it's an amazing relationship even if it is online so this is day six tomorrow's day seven the final day of our craving consistency challenge mm -hmm. and uh, all of these things that we've talked about are things that i personally crave to be consistent with me too and uh that's why it, we, we're talking about them and not only do we crave we struggle sometimes to be consistent with these things and then that's the vulnerability that we're sharing with you that hey you know it is what it is yeah and think about that on a daily basis because uh once you have a craving once you satisfy that craving you're not craving it anymore you're living it yeah where do you think those cravings come from those those desires in, inside your heart they come from god definitely mm -hmm. right yeah. just i'm going to close with this if you have something that you think that you want to do, just know that it's possible because you wouldn't have gotten the thought if it wasn't possible. Yeah. Think about that for a second. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you guys. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Sunday. Happy Sunday. Bye. I feel